Testament niggas playing with me, man. Mark 733, explain that. All you New Testament niggas, explain that, man. Y'all got some explaining to do, man. Because when Yahweh get here, y'all really gonna have to explain why y'all worshiping a fucking man who tongue kissing another fucking man. And not only do we do that, he washed other men feet ass naked. And this is what you put in replacing a Yahweh, man. Y'all people should be ashamed of yourself, but you will be ashamed, man. Yahweh, Kyle, Yahweh only, man. Hey, look, you New Testament niggas playing with me, man. Mark 7:33. Explain that. All you New Testament niggas, explain that, man. Y'all got some explaining to do, man. Because when Yahweh get here, y'all really gonna have to explain why y'all worshiping a fucking man who tongue kissing another fucking man. And not only do we do that, he washed other men feet ass naked. And this is what you put in replacing a Yahweh, man. Y'all people should be ashamed of yourself, but you will be ashamed, man. Yahweh, Kyle, Yahweh only, man. Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh. Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Maha, Bakakodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one only true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who will well teach well, because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole full elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shai camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And pretty much, I was on a plantation at work. And uh, big bro, Azan Amoth, ha Amoth, he uh, uploaded a video um, yesterday. Very edifying lesson. Um, watch and subscribe to big bro and to all the other big bros out there. And... The elders of Paul's great millstone, but um, in this lesson, you've seen clearly the Jake in the video. He has a problem with serving Yahweh Shai. He has a problem with worshiping Yahweh Shai. He's an Old Testament Israelite, you know. And pretty much, you know, we know of reincarnation, and that individual is a Sadducee. All right, and and a Sadducee pretty much they kept the laws, but they didn't believe. Or teach in the resurrection or the afterlife because there's a difference between the, the Sadducees and the Pharisees now the Pharisees they kept the laws they taught and believed in the afterlife and they taught of the resurrection but you had the Sadducees they just were Torah only they didn't believe in the resurrection or the afterlife and that individual in that clip he's pretty much a Sadducee reincarnated because the Sadducees then of the time of Yahweh Shai are here now in this present time that we're living in and if you are a Sadducee you just believe in the Torah only you don't you don't believe in the resurrection or the afterlife you just Torah only you're gonna be destroyed yeah you're gonna be destroyed so let's go into the scriptures and let's go and see what the scriptures say and you Jake's out there that's Old Testament only Israelites you guys fail to realize that the Messiah is written all through the scriptures He's all through the scriptures. He's all through the scriptures Because the thing with these Old Testament Israelites is they think that the Messiah is only in the New Testament He's not only in the New Testament. He's all through the scriptures All you got to do to prove what I'm saying to validate myself go to Genesis 49 and read verse 11 it talks about the Messiah which prophet Zechariah mentioned when you read Zechariah 9 and 9 talks about him riding on that uh riding on that uh that ass and that colt right which goes to Matthew's 21 when you read Matthew's 21 verse 1 through 7 it mentions the Messiah in the Old Testament when you go into G uh, Genesis 49 and 12 it mentions the Messiah right his teeth his eyes red with wine and his teeth white with milk which goes to that first Peter 2 and 2, right? Which is meaning the sincere milk of the word. So the Messiah is mentioned all through the scriptures, even in Genesis. When you go into that meaning of that word God there, that's talking about Yahweh Shai and the angels. That word God goes into the Hebrew word Allahayim. That word Allah, which means power, when you add the yum to it, it goes and means powers. So when you read the scriptures, you have to know and understand these things. 
But if you're an Old Testament only Israelite, you're just Torah only, you're not going to have the understanding because the Lord ain't dealing with you. So we're about to bust that Sadducee's bubble real quick because he doesn't understand the scriptures. And this is for you Old Testament Israelites only too. If you do not acknowledge the Messiah, if you do not worship the Messiah, your dumbass don't have the Father. It's in the scriptures. So enough with the rambling. Let's go to the scriptures and we're just going to get this out through the scriptures. This is John 14 and 6. And this is what Yahweh said unto the apostles. Alright. This is John 14 and 6. Yahweh saith unto him. Right. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come out to the Father but by me. So we got to go through Yahweh That's what you... You Old Testament Israelites don't understand. We have to go through the Messiah. We broke the Old Covenant. We didn't keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Alright? We broke the Old Covenant. So now, we have to go through Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai, he's our mediator to get to the Heavenly Father. You cannot just pray directly to the Heavenly Father. Skip Yahweh Shai, pray directly to the Heavenly Father. No, it's not going to work. Number one, the, the Heavenly Father has a powerful ore. We're in carnal flesh. If the Lord, the Heavenly Father, was to appear unto us in this flesh, we would die instantly. Our body wouldn't be able to handle the aura of the Heavenly Father. These bodies that we're in are way too corrupt. So we have Yahweh We call upon His name, our big brother. And He's our mediator to talk to the Heavenly Father for us. Because we can't just pray directly to the Heavenly Father. The Heavenly Father just can't come directly to us in these flesh. We'll die in these flesh. The Lord has a powerful ore. The Heavenly Father, he, he's, His ore is powerful. Your body wouldn't be able to handle that. We would die if He was to appear unto us. We would we die in these mortal flesh. But we have Yahweh Shai, who's our big brother. He's our mediator. So we have to go through Him to get to the Heavenly Father. He sits on the right hand side of the Heavenly Father. That's in the scriptures. Right? So you, you Old Testament Israelites... You can't get to the Heavenly Father without worshiping Yahweh Shai. Yes, we have to worship Yahweh Shai. And if you're a Jake out there that believe that you don't have to worship the, the Messiah, you don't have to worship Yahweh Shai, you're going to be destroyed. You're an unbeliever and you're going to be destroyed. As the scriptures say, yeah, you're going to be destroyed. Because you have to worship Yahweh Shai to get to the Heavenly Father, man. That's the order that's set up. And actually, I'll go back because I got scriptures here and there. So actually, I'll go to... um. I'll start at verse 20, uh, 22. This is 1 John 2 and 22. It says, Who is a liar? It says, Who is a liar? But he that denieth that Yahweh Shai is the anointed, he is an antichrist. Con. So if you don't believe in Yahweh Shai, you are antichrist. An antichrist is those that are unbelievers. You don't believe in the Messiah. You don't believe in the Bible. If you're atheist, you're an antichrist. You don't believe in the Messiah. All right. If you don't acknowledge the Messiah, you're an unbeliever. You're an antichrist, right? If you have a different doctrine, you in a different whole, totally different uh, doctrine. You read the Quran. That's that's your belief. You're an antichrist. If you're an Israelite of the flesh and you're in these other different doctrines, you don't acknowledge the Messiah. You don't believe in him. You believe he's a white man. You believe the, the Messiah was a homosexual. You believe all these bugged out things, like he was saying in the video. You are an unbeliever. You're an antichrist, and you're going to be destroyed by the Lord. You're going to be destroyed by the Lord. It says he denieth. It says he denieth the father and the son. So if you deny Yahweh Shai, you deny the heavenly father. Because the heavenly father, he sent his only begotten son down, right? When you read John 3.16, he, he sent his son down for the Israelites, right? Because that word world goes into the, he, the Greek word of cosmos, which means constitution or government, the government of Israel. All right? It's talking about the Israelites. When you read John 3.16. Right? That's pertaining to the Israelites. So, when you read this scripture here, this is what is a straight up slice to the chest. Because, let's read it again. 1 John 2 and 22. It says, who is a liar? So, who is a liar? So, if you don't believe in the Messiah, you don't acknowledge the Messiah, you don't have the, fa you don't have the Father. You're a liar. It says, who is a liar? But he that denieth Yahweh Shai is the anointed he is an antichrist if you don't acknowledge the only begotten son you don't acknowledge Yahweh Shai, you're an antichrist you're an unbeliever and you're going to be destroyed the scriptures talk about that right you're an unbeliever you don't have faith in the lord right 
Let's get out Second Edgers 15 and four, uh, 15 and four. Second Edgers 15 and four. For all the unfaithful shall die in their faithful unfaithfulness. So those of you that do not believe in the Messiah, right? You're you're you're, you're considered an antichrist. You're considered an unbeliever, and you're going to be destroyed. Second Edgers 15 four. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Yep. See, for all. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. All the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. You're going to be destroyed. So just know that. Yeah, you're going to be destroyed. The Lord is going to is going to allow you simple niggas to be destroyed. Because, hey, you, you're, 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 you're that same Sadducee spirit of the time of the Messiah. You Old Testament Israelites, y'all nothing but them, them Sadducees reincarnated. That's what you are. You're a Sadducee. And you're going to be destroyed. Verse. This is John 5 and 23. For all men should honor the son. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me let me step back. For all it says that all men, Salakia, that all men should honor the son. It says that all men should honor the son, even as they honor the father. So you have to honor the son. You have to worship the the heavenly father and his only begotten son. You have to worship Yahweh Shai because he's our mediator to get to the heavenly father. You jakes out there think you know stuff and you don't know nothing. You're going to be destroyed because you don't have the Heavenly Father if you don't acknowledge the Son. If you deny the Son, you deny the Heavenly Father also. John 5 and 23. That all men, that all men should honor the Son even as they honor the Father. He that honoreth not the Son, honoreth not the Father. We're scratching my head there. Read that again. He that honoreth not the Son, he that honoreth not the Son, right, honoreth not the Father, which have sent him. See, the Heavenly Father sent Yahweh Shai to die for who? The Israelites. So we could get repentance. Because, hey, we broke the old covenant, man. We didn't keep the law, statutes, and commandments. We broke the old covenant. Right? We followed the way of the heathen. We didn't keep the law, statutes, and commandments. So the Lord, he sent down his only begotten Son to die for us so we can be able to have temple grace and you guys out there that's Torah only how are you able to keep all the laws perfectly you can't keep all the laws perfectly you Old Testament Israelites y'all can't keep the laws perfectly man they only Torah only so you guys don't believe in just keeping laws how are you able to keep those laws you can't keep those laws you cannot keep those laws again number one we're in captivity right number two we're in these mortal flesh how are you able to keep those laws you guys just skipping your Yahweh and praying directly to Yahweh. The Lord ain't dealing with you. Your prayers are not even being heard when you don't call upon Yahweh Yeah, your prayers is not even heard. Because you have to call, you have to worship Yahweh You have to call upon his name so the Father can receive our prayers, man. He's our mediator. He works out our relationship with the Heavenly Father. Yes, Yahweh does that. So that's a cut to you, to you, to you, Sadducee Israelites, you Old Testament Israelites. You're nothing but Sadducees reincarnated. First John 2 and 23. It says, whosoever denieth the son, the same have not the father. All through the scriptures, man. You're getting sliced, constantly getting sliced right now. It's all through the scriptures, man. Whosoever denieth the son, the same have not the father. But he that acknowledged the son have the father also. So that cuts that, man. If you do not acknowledge the Messiah, you're going to be destroyed. If you don't believe in the Messiah, you're going to be destroyed. If you don't believe in calling upon his name to get to the Heavenly Father, because we must worship Yahweh Shai, you're going to be destroyed. Yeah, the Lord is going to destroy you. You better repent. You have time to repent. Because guess what? You don't have the Heavenly Father without the Son. It's been set up. It's in the Scriptures, man. Whether you believe in the New Testament or not, it's set up in the Scriptures. It's in the Scriptures. It's going to be on you, but you you Old Testament Israelites are going to be destroyed, man. 1 John 2 and 23. Whosoever denieth the Son, because you said you don't believe in the Messiah. He was calling him a homosexual, calling him a Messiah homosexual. He's kissing this, this, that, kissing other dudes. There's, no, there's nothing ever seen about that. That's bearing false witness, man. You're bearing false witness on our Lord, Yahweh Shai, and he's going to fucking destroy your ass. You better hope the Lord don't put a plague on you to fucking bug you out, man. Because the Lord can put plagues on you, man. You don't want that. You damn Sadducee spirits bearing false witness on Yahweh Shai. You guys are those same spirits in the time of Yahweh Shai, man. Y'all was calling him a blasphemer, right? Y'all was persecuting the Messiah, 
Just like y'all was persecuting Paul, right? Y'all was persecuting Paul, man, Apostle Paul. Y'all those same wicked spirits, man. The Lord is gonna deal, he gonna deal with you. He gonna deal with you Sadducee spirits, man. He gonna Lord gonna destroy y'all niggas, man. Y'all gonna be destroyed. First John 2 and 23. Whosoever denieth the Son, the same have not the Father. So if you don't acknowledge the Son, you don't have the Heavenly Father. I'm just letting you guys know that. You can you can skip your hours all you want to, but your prayers are not gonna be answered. There's an order set up. You need to read 1 Corinthians 14 40. Let all things be in decently and in order. Let all things be done decently and in order. It's in the scriptures. Right? The same have not the Father, but he that acknowledged the Son have the Father also. So without the, without Yahweh Shai, you can't have the Heavenly Father. Without Yahweh Shai, there's no way your prayers is getting answered to the Heavenly Father. He's not going to hear your shit. Because you don't, you don't acknowledge his Son. He's not dealing with you. You Sadducee Israelites, he's not dealing with y'all. You Old Testament Israelites, when I say Sadducee, I'm talking about you Old Testament Israelites. Lord ain't dealing with your ass. Your prayers is not heard. The Lord ain't dealing with you. The Lord ain't dealing with y'all. Not realizing that the Messiah is mentioned all through the scriptures. He's mentioned all through the, through the scriptures. Zechariah the prophet mentioned Yahweh Shai. He prophesied about Yahweh Shai. Yeah, Zechariah the prophet did. You had Daniel the prophet who saw the Messiah. And that's in the Old Testament of Daniel. Daniel saw the Messiah. He saw Yahweh Shai. Daniel's 10 5 through 7. That's how he's seen them for those of you that say where Read Daniel chapter 10 verse 5 through 7. He saw Yahweh Shai in a vision Daniel 10 5 through 7 mentions Yahweh Shai and that's in the Old Testament He's mentioned all through the scriptures. So y'all don't have that understanding because you 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 the Lord ain't revealed it to you the Lord ain't dealing with you with you Old Testament Israelites man. The Lord ain't dealing with y'all Y'all don't acknowledge the, the son. So the Lord ain't even giving you the spirit of understanding Psalms 40 and 7. Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. The word is written of Yahweh Shai. That's what you guys fail to realize. The word is written of Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is mentioned all through the scriptures, man. It's easy to prove that. It's easy to prove that. All we got to do is go to Genesis 49 and 11. Hop over from Genesis 49 and 11. Go to Zechariah 9 and 9. From Zechariah 9 and 9. Go to, uh, 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 uh. I think it's Zechariah 9 and 9. If it's not Zechariah 9 and 9, it's Zechariah 9 and 13. It's one of those two. Go from there and go to Matthew 21, 1 through 7. It's all through the, besides written all through the scriptures. He's mentioned all through the scriptures. The word is written of Yahweh Shai. He comes in the volume of the book. Easy, man. Psalms 40 and 7. Then said I, lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. The word is written of Yahweh Shai. You cannot get to the Heavenly Father without the Messiah, without Yahweh Shai. So, I mean, you guys want to keep believing in that? This is going to cause you to be destroyed. Many of the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. When Jacob trouble come, you're going to be destroyed. The Lord is going to make sure you're destroyed. Because you don't acknowledge the Messiah. You're going to be destroyed. First John 2 and 24, it says, Let that therefore abide in you, which ye have heard from the beginning. From the beginning, right? If that which ye have heard from the beginning shall remain in you, ye also shall continue in the Son and in the Father. This has been set up since the beginning. The Messiah has been mentioned all through the scriptures since the very beginning. He's been mentioned all through the scriptures. You guys out there are going off. The Messiah is mentioned all through the scriptures. You're bugged out out there. You Sadducee Old Testament Israelites are going to be fucking destroyed when the Lord comes back. He's going to kill you. You're going to die in your unfaithfulness. You're an unbeliever. That's why the scriptures tell us to mark them which cause division. That's why the scriptures say be not unequally yoked with unbelievers. You antichrists out there are unbelievers and the Lord is going to, he's going to jack you guys up, man. Y'all don't even know how angry you guys are making the Lord. He gonna, he going to jack you up. You don't want to make the Lord mad. The Lord can put all type of plagues on you, man. He can have you lose your lose your mind in this thing. You'll be fucking around going into a, 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 a psychotic mental institution. The Lord can put you in that type of situation. You don't want that. That's scary. The Lord can put you in that situation. He can put you in that. Yeah, he can put you in that situation. You can bug out out here and lose your, your wits. You'll be in a psych, a psych, a psych, what do you call it? A psych, a psych crazy mental institution. Lord can put you through all type of plagues. You don't, you, that's, you tipped in the Lord right there. You don't do that. First John 2 and 24, it says, let, it says, let that therefore abide in you, which ye have learned from the beginning. If that which ye have heard from the beginning shall remain in you, 
Ye shall continue in the Son and in the Father. It's in the scriptures. Regardless if you believe. Oh, that's the New Testament. That's not. It don't fucking matter. It's the scriptures and it's in order. The Lord set it up that way. Deal with it. If you don't worship the Messiah, you're going to be destroyed. If you don't acknowledge the Messiah, you're going to be destroyed. Now, this is to rip this shit up because that's easy. This is easy. It's easy to prove that the Messiah is all through the scriptures. It's easy to prove that. 1 Timothy 2 and 5. For there is one power, that's the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and one mediator, that is Yahweh Shai. He's our mediator. So you can't pray, you can't skip Yahweh Shai and go straight to the Heavenly Father. No, you have to go through Yahweh Shai. 1 Timothy 2 and 5. For there is one power. Power, that's Yahweh, and one mediator between Yahweh and men, the man Hamashiach, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. So there you go, Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai is our mediator to get to the Heavenly Father. You cannot skip him and go straight to the Heavenly Father. No, you, that's not going to fucking work. Your prayer is not going to be answered. He's our mediator. He talks to the Heavenly Father for us. Let's look up what a mediator is. Mediator. A person who attempts to make people involved in a conflict to come to an agreement between and go between. He goes between. When you're praying to the Lord, he's speaking to the Heavenly Father for you, for your prayers to be heard. When you're skipping him and just think you can just pray to the Heavenly Father, your prayer is not heard at all. Because you didn't go through Yahweh Shai. So your prayer that you're praying to Yahweh for is not even being heard. Because you got to go through Yahweh Shai. It's in the scriptures. It's in the scriptures. It's in the scriptures. We proved that. So this individual here that's in this video, you're going to be fucking destroyed if you don't repent. That's very vexing in the spirit that, you did, that, that, you're, that you're denying the Lord. And you're putting, and you're bearing false witness on our Lord, man. He's going to cast judgment on you dudes. He's going to cast judgment on you dudes, man. Those of you that is not acknowledging your Hawashai, you're, 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 you're bearing all these false witnesses on the Lord. And the Lord, he, he got messed up for you, man. For you Jakes out here, he, he went through a beating. He went through a brute beating. He got whipped. He got whipped so bad he didn't even have flesh on his skin. He got spit on. He got punched on. He got persecuted. He had people trying to kill him since he was a kid. He was tormented by Satan in the flesh when he fasted for 40 days, 40 nights. Yahweh Shai went through a lot. He went through a lot of persecution. And you niggas is still out there bearing false witness, throwing all these false uh, uh, accusations against Yahweh Shai. And the Lord, when he come back, he going to jack you niggas up, man. He going to jack you niggas up. Y'all don't know. He going to jack you Old Testament niggas up, man. And this is why we say all the time, just because you see a dude with a beard, he got a beard, you see his beard, he got a nice shaped beard, right? He got a hat on, he's calling upon Yahweh, and he got, he got a Bible in his hand, that don't make him a man of the Lord. And he don't probably don't read the King James Bible, he just read the Torah. But that's not going to save you. You just, you as an Israelite just keeping the laws only, that's not going to save you. That is not going to save you. So, hey, this individual that's in this video is going to be destroyed. Everything that he said, the, the Lord, the, what does the scripture say? Let me get that scripture out, man. Because y'all y'all, y'all like playing with Yahweh Bashim Shai. Y'all like playing with Yahweh Shai. And that's, that's, that's something you do not want to fucking do. Is play with the Lord, man. Get that scripture out. Right? I know a lot of brothers know this. This is, this is a common precept right here. You don't want to play with the Lord, man. He can fucking kill your ass. He can send the death angel after you. He can put your ass to death, man. Let's get it out. It's Galatians 6 and 7. It says, Be not deceived, for Yahweh Bashim Shai is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, he shall also reap it. You're sowing blasphemy. You're sowing bearing false witness, lies against the Lord. The Lord going to fucking jack your ass up. He going he gonna to send a death angel after you. He going he gonna to kill your ass. Or he's going to allow you to be in Jacob's trouble. And he's going he's gonna to he's gonna leave you out there to be destroyed. That's why the scriptures say that the Lord shall laugh at your calamity. And the Lord is going to laugh at your calamity through his prophets, through his men. We're going to fucking laugh at y'all. All you scoffers, all you demons that's coming on our comment boards, all you fucking scoffers talking about Yahuas and Yahayas and Ahaya and Yahweh's and Yah Israelites and and, 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 and you guys worshiping uh, uh, the Messiah and he ain't real and all that. You guys are going to, you individuals out there is going to be fucked up. That's why the scripture said in 2nd Edris, which I'm going to get right now, 2nd Edris 15 and 4, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. You're an unbeliever, right? You're unfaithful. You don't have you don't have the you don't have the faith in the Lord. 
You individuals are going to be destroyed, man. Let me get that one precept out. Um, 2 Corinthians 6 and 4. Here it is right here. This is why we don't be around you Old Testament Israelites. We don't fuck with you Old Testament Israelites. If you don't acknowledge your house shy, y'all stay the fuck away from us. Y'all stay away from us. Stay the fuck away from us. We ain't doing no unity over here with y'all. Y'all don't acknowledge the Messiah. To you fucking Islam doctrine, Islam doctrine bug out dudes, right? Do you guys believe that both parents got to be Israelites and that you got to be only Negro descent? All that is bugged out doctrine and you're going to be fucking destroyed when the Lord come back because you're an unbeliever. 2 Corinthians 6 and 14. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. This is why we're not fucking with y'all. Excuse my French. This is why we're not messing with y'all. Y'all stay the hell away from us with these bugged out ass doctrines. These bugged out ass doctrines and beliefs that you got is going to cause you to be destroyed if you don't repent. It's either you're going to bow down and, and get down with the Lord or you're going to be destroyed. You're going to be on the other side to be destroyed with the Lord. It's either you're going to get down or you're going to you're going to lay down, man. That's that's the time that we're coming into. And it's coming. It's coming, man. 2 Corinthians 6 and 14. It says, Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion have light with darkness? Right. So we're not we're not being equally we're not being we're not being equally yoked with you unbelievers. The scriptures say, Be not unequally yoked. So we're not dealing with y'all. Y'all can't come around us. But these type of beliefs that this individual got in this video, he's gonna be destroyed by the Lord. The Lord, the Lord gonna destroy this individual. He, he don't he don't understand what he what he's putting himself in and what he's getting into. You saying all that stuff about the Messiah, you're gonna be destroyed. You are gonna be destroyed. So hey, I had to do my uh my response to this video. Very edifying lesson. Um uh, shout outs to the brother uh Azan Hamath, the big bro, and the other brothers in this thing. Hey, these individuals right here are gonna be destroyed, man. They're gonna be destroyed by the Lord. When the Lord come back, he's gonna destroy these individuals, man. So, you know, this again, Lord willing, that's what's edifying. I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh Bashim Ashai Bashim And double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who will well teach well. Peace, blessings, salutations to the Ophel Elect. And shalom to you, sincere brother scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I'm the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And Lord willing, that's what's edifying. So I'm going to play this clip again one more time. And uh, Lord willing, that's what's edifying. Shalom. To the next time. Shalom. Testament niggas, stop playing with me, man. Mark 7, 33, explain that. All you New Testament niggas, explain that, man. Y'all got some explaining to do, man. Because when Yahweh get here, y'all really gonna have to explain why y'all worshiping a fucking man who tongue kissing another fucking man. And not only do we do that, he wash other men feet ass naked. And this is what you put in replacing a Yahweh, man. Y'all people should be ashamed of yourself, but you will be ashamed, man. Yahweh a cow, Yahweh only, man.